So the older a buck gets, generally, the smaller his range becomes. And he knows every blade of grass, every twig. You gotta hunt more cautiously. If you make a mistake there, the chances of you find another situation like that is gonna be tough. He's gonna know if you screw up. The guy that doesn't have as much time to hunt, uh, he needs to make the most of every single one of those days. So how you treat your odor has to be spot on. You know, we all run into that situation where we've got a buck that we're excited about. All the things, all the pieces of the hunting formula line up, but the wind isn't right. I was hunting a buck in the, I think, I think it was November 10th. And the wind switched on us a little bit. It swung around and was swirling and we were getting a wind out of the northeast and it was blowing right into this little field. Do I wait and, and stick it out and hope for the best or do I climb down and leave? You know, I don't really want to be sitting in my truck. So we stuck it out. And I've got footage of the leaves blowing off the tree and blowing right to these deer that are down in that little small plot. And, you know, during that same time, I encountered the buck that I was hunting. And he came in, followed a doe. These other deer did not react to that scent at all. There's two of us in the tree. And uh, eventually I got a shot at that buck and was able to kill him. Okay. I don't see how he survives that. It's just gonna, we're just gonna have to wait a while before we go after him, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh gosh. Normally that would not happen. You know, if your scent is blowing right to several deer, they're gonna react. You know, I mean, these deer should have spooked. They didn't, then I killed this buck.